Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sanjana Chaudhary with the top news of the day. Eminent lawyer barrister Rafiq ul Haq was laid to rest at the Bonani graveyard with respect and love. His burial was held on Saturday afternoon after three rounds of janaza. Earlier in the morning, the famous lawyer breathed his last at 8.30 a.m. due to old age while undergoing treatment at ad -Din Hospital in Dhaka. Prominent people, including President Abdul Hamid, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Chief Justice Syed Mahmud Hussain, Law Minister Anis ul Haq and Boshandhara Group Chairman Ahmed Akbar Subhan have expressed deep grief over his death. The deep depression in the Bay of Bengal turned into a land depression and is currently located in Maniganj after crossing Faridpur and Madaripur. As a result, heavy to heavy rain is being observed in most parts of the country. The Meteorological Department forecasts moderate to heavy rainfall in some parts of the country throughout the day. Furthermore, there is a danger of landslides in Chittagong again due to the continuous rain. The various activities of the district administration to evict the hill tract residents for safety are not working. Meanwhile, the bodies of five people who went missing after a speedboat sank in the Agun Mukha River and Rangaboli in Potuakali have been recovered. They were found in different points of the river on Saturday morning, 48 hours after the disappearance. The bodies were handed over to the relatives after the completion of necessary formalities. Police have filed a case in the Marine Court accusing the speedboat operator and driver of the incident. Today is Maha Ashtami in the Sharadiya Durga Puja celebrations. The Kalparamba begins with the Bihit Puja and ends with Shonti Puja. The followers of the Hindu religion consider Ashtami Anjali to be the most important. Thus, there was an overflowing crowd of devotees present at the Thakashwari temple. The DMP commissioner and the SCC mayor visited the Puja Mandapa today. After inspecting the Puja Mandapa, the DMP commissioner said there is no possibility of any undesirable incidents occurring anywhere in the Puja celebrations this year. Nineteen people have died from COVID-19 in the country during last 24 hours, according to a press release issued by the Director General of Health Services, DGHS. The total number of deaths has now reached 5,780 and the death rate stands at 1.45 percent. A total of 1,094 new infections were recorded in the meantime, taking the total number of people infected to 3,97,507. Meanwhile, in the last 24 hours, 4,90,000 people have been infected all over the world, with which the total infection has exceeded 4 crore 25 lakh 65,000. And so far, more than 11 lakh 50,000 people have lost their lives. Furthermore, AstraZeneca resumed trial of the vaccine from Friday with the approval of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Johnson & Johnson is also going to start the clinical trials again soon. Gambia submitted a full application of the case filed against Myanmar in the International Court of Justice, ICJ. This information is known from the website of the regional human rights organization, Fortify Rights. The 500-page petition submitted on Friday blamed the Myanmar government for the Rohingya genocide. It was also claimed that the issue of justice for Rohingyas has gone one step further. However, after the Gambia application, Myanmar will have three months to submit a counter-application to the ICJ. Gambia filed a lawsuit in the ICJ on November 11, 2019, calling the atrocious Rohingya killings by the Myanmar army a genocide. Republican candidate Donald Trump and Democrat candidate Joe Biden have returned to the elected campaigns after the presidential debate. Joe Biden plans to tackle corona in the campaign. He promised to provide free vaccines to all U.S. citizens if elected president. He made the announcement as part of a national strategy to combat coronavirus. Biden also said that President Trump gave up fighting the coronavirus. 
Meanwhile, speaking at a rally in Florida on Friday, Trump called Biden's entire family corrupt. Mahmoudullah 11 will face Nazmul 11 in the final of BCB President's Cup tomorrow, Sunday. The match would start at Mirpur Sharibangla Stadium at 1.30 p.m. Mahmoudullah Riyadh's team lost to Nazmul 11 in the previous two matches. Due to rain, the cloud of uncertainty did not disappear as the title match got postponed for two days. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.